Good morning everybody, it's George from Cypress Insight. Today we are driving up to Chudos Mountains. We'll be doing lots of videoing up there so you can have a look around. On the way we're going to Alassi, a sunken village. Right, we'll see you there. Uh, we've picked up uh, two more crew members guys I'm not sure if the camera crew or what have you and we're on the highway to Limassol we we'll are stopping off at McDonald's for our breakfast and we're just passing the majestic windmills on our left you can see them from an aeroplane coming into Larnaca look out so they're just on our left where are they So we're having our brunch now. Oh, last of the milkshake. Mm, delish. <laughs> so we've arrived to Alassa. And there's the reservoir. And it looks like this here is the archaeological site. So here we are guys and it looks like there's a rowing club down here too. We were down, let me go slowly, down there where the archaeological site is and we spotted the church. And the village of Alassa was relocated in 1980 and that's where this place has been dammed off. There we are. And made into a reservoir. So St Nicholas Church is now underwater, or partly underwater. Certain times of the year you can actually walk into the church. We're not sure if we'll be able to now. So here's the church, look. Okay, and the village was obviously around there, which is all underwater now. Right, we'll take the uh, safe route around the top. It looks like they've built a tiny church at the top it's a kind of replacement but I don't think it's uh, usable look it's like a little toy church it could be a cat church or it could be for your teddy bears a teddy bear church so let's have a look at the little St Nicholas teddy bear there we are that's a little got a little bell there we go one of our crew was standing in front to see how small it is you see oh yeah it's a real little church of course it's real it's for teddy bears let's go inside oh isn't that cute look there we are, and there's somewhere you could light your candles for your beloved teddy bears that have lost their stuffing. There we are. There's a little altar there. There's only a couple of chairs, and that's where you'd light your candles for your dearly departed teddy bears okay so let's shut the door shall we here we are okay shut that door and uh, 
we'll go on to see the sunken church of St Nicholas. Right, looks like there's someone got this little farm there or orchard. Oh, it's a garden and it's for sale. Look. That's a nice view, isn't it? So the reservoir is fed by the river Curious. I suspect it's up there somewhere. Down to here. And then I suspect that it's been dammed off right down there. You can see two concrete pillars. And that's where it would have been dammed off. It's a bit breezy today, lovely, and the water looks good enough to swim in. I suppose if you like snorkeling or diving, you can come down here and dive into the village. When you snorkel round or dive down and see the old village underneath the Reservoir. There's a challenge for you divers. Here we are. There's the church bell tower. And we see how much of the church is above water. Oh, it's quite a lot above water. Right, let's get down and have a look. So, right, so one of our crew has mentioned that this is not the church that's in the reservoir. She doesn't think it's the right one, guys. A little blunder by our research team, but we'll check it out anyway. We'll have it checked. Sack the research team. The one that I've seen is literally just the top of it poking out. Right, well, we can't see a water line, can we? So we're not sure, guys. Could this be another Cyprus Insight blunder? Let's have a look. Well, let's get inside and have a look, guys, and do some more discovering. Well, I can see green here. I can see some green here, which possibly indicates water. There, can you see? There. So let's go and have a look inside anyway. There we are. It's definitely ruined. Except the little bell tower, which looks like it's in very reasonable condition. There it is. So guys, on the roadside we definitely saw signs for Alassi. So I think we're in the right reservoir. Right, so one of our research team thinks we are at the right place, guys. It's just that most of the time of the year, the ruins of the church are above water level. Okay, unless we have a very wet winter. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to go and have a look at these ruins, won't we? Yeah. Go and have a look at those, guys, and we're going to see if uh, 
that throws any light on the situation. So there's the church there you see. There's a chappy there fishing. I might ask him if this is the sunken village of Alassi. Right, so I've just confirmed with the fisherman here that this is indeed the sunken village. And he said when the water is at its highest level the church is underwater, but you can just about see the bell tower. Well, let's have a look at this old house here. There we are. It's not that old guys, it's uh, built with bricks. Not mud bricks or anything. There it is. What I do is uh, there's a staircase on my right, and I'll take you up there. See if there's a view. There we go. Oops. Got these steps are very narrow. There's the roof. There we are. Let me take you round and have a look. So here's the reservoir, beautiful isn't it? We'll go round, now it's getting a bit windy sorry. And there's the church. It looks like there's a rowing club up there. So we do believe that the picture on the guides, on the travel guides, is this one here. You see and it does look like the church bell tower is underwater there. And maybe when they took that picture, it was higher. The water level was much higher. And if you look over there, you can see dry grass, white, and then the green grass on top. And that's probably the highest level. So there we are, the sunken village. Oh, there's a lovely little watering hole here. Oh. There it is. All working. Lovely. Off to the hotel. We've sacked one of the crew, but unfortunately he's still with us because uh, he didn't have any transport to get home. So uh, that was very interesting. We found out from the fisherman that was definitely the right place. That's where we're going. Yeah. ski stair lift and look there's the markers on the left for the snow 
the uh, deepest snow cups. It's a bit like those video games, isn't it? In and out, in and out, round. Oh. So you don't get free lives. No, you don't get free lives. So guys, here's the room in this hotel that I think is around about 100 years old. Look, it's got lots of original features. It's really beautiful, I like it. Look, look at those beautiful quilts. Okay. And then we've got pine dressing table. There it is. Okay. And then I'll take you out on the veranda. Right, we'll open the veranda and have a look. There we are. So we've got a little table, lovely banister, and a beautiful view. There we are. There goes the cats chasing the owner of the hotel. She's going up there to feed the dogs, I think. There we are, the Mountain Rose. Beautiful, quaint hotel. Very big. And definitely got some character. Now we're off to Gagobedria, which means Bad Rock little village I think it's about 20 kilometers away so we're making our way down there and we I'm not sure what this village is but we'll have to pass this one very quaint is it look at this listen to the birds It's got little lanterns along the street. They with candles in them. There we Look at that. Lovely. Oh, okay. look at that. This village is built on the cliffside. Look. Isn't that lovely. Massive church, isn't it? For a little tiny village like this. Oh, look, we've come across another dam, haven't we? And uh, reservoir. Oh, wow. I don't know what this is going to be. Look at that. Some sort of building overlooking the reservoir. And this is the roof of it, isn't it? Let's go on to the roof and have a look at the view. There's another village we just passed over there. There we are. Oh, right, so this is the roof of it. There we are. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Look. There's a reservoir. I think it's been dammed off there. And we are heading along that road there, so we'll probably see where it's been dammed off. And we're on top of this building, look, that's a building. I do believe, this is a guess, but I do believe there used to be an old house here. And so they've taken it down, and this is the roof of the old house that was here. Can you see? Look. See? Right, we're just heading into Gagopetra and we'll be putting that on a separate video. It took a while to get here. I think our sat nav has sent us round all the villages. Right, so we're going to go into the restaurant with the little water meal going round. Right, we've got a table overlooking the river. There we are. So let's uh, have a look at this restaurant overlooking the river. 
There we are. Right, our food's turned up. I've got the usual halloumi and some food, village salad. Yes. <laughs> and the other guys have got a mixed grill. And in the mixed grill, we've got the chicken that was on the skewer, a lamb gleftigo on the skewer, I'm not sure. And then we've got the traditional lamb gleftigo potatoes. That I put in the clay oven and some rice and vegetables. Looks delish. Right, so we've left the beautiful little village and we're up on the viewpoint. There's a beautiful sunset. Look at that. There's nobody else staying at this hotel except me and the crew. So we're sitting in the restaurant of, for breakfast and he's brought up toast, some halloumi and what we got there? Salami, cheese, we've got cucumber and tomatoes and the olives and of course homemade jam. So traditional Cypriot breakfast. But we have got eggs and omelette coming too. Just relaxing guys on the veranda. This beautiful old hotel we're staying in. Look. There's the ceilings. Original tun and groove. I believe this hotel must be around about a hundred years old. There's a the view. I'm just waiting for the crew. Staying next door, there's one of the crew. Now, we'll be going first of all down the road to an abandoned haunted hotel. Right, so we are on the way to the haunted abandoned hotel. So look out for that in another video. Right, so down the road from the hotel we're staying at is the haunted hotel. There's a few properties down here that have been renovated, like this one here. It's going to be a shop. Oh guys, just spotted an old car in this shop or garage, see if we can get to it, there it is, the old Mercedes, there we are. so we've got JA80, not sure how old this would be. So guys, we've just come out of this haunted hotel, abandoned, and we'll be featuring it in one of our videos. Okay, there it is here. All right. Several stories, it's a big hotel. And there's part of it at the back here. Okay, so look out for the abandoned haunted hotel. Right, we're at Chudo Square. There's a few ice cream vans here. 
and there's some beautiful walks around here guys there's one down here and we did it before when we were up here I think we abandoned the walk halfway through because it started to get dark and there's parks and nice restaurants there's a park over there some gift shops there's a few shops selling local sweets and nuts and I'll show you them in a bit and you can have a little pick out of them so guys we're heading towards a hotel that we stayed at a vintage hotel we'll put the link in for you so you can see that we did do a video on it I'll show you it one moment there it is that's the True Dos Hotel let's get to the entrance there it is Okay, so in, if you're into vintage, that's the place to stay. Loads of pine cones, guys, around. On the way back to our hotel, we'll be stopping off collecting a load of pine cones for our garden right let's go and have a look at the uh, tourist shops now there are some local sweets as I said here and local sweet nuts that you can purchase and they are delish there we are there's some local wine Yep, and there's the Zivania. Hello, how are you? Good. Right, and we'll, we'll have a look here and show you the local produce. Here we are, we've got nuts covered in beautiful sugar. We'll have a little taste. Thank you, there it is. Oh, they're delish, guys, and they're lovely and warm. And here we are. We got Lukumi, is it? Yep. Yeah. And that's made of the wine and grapes. Okay, so it's grape juice. More nuts. And dried fruits. Local honey. And carob syrup. So let's go back to the Lakumi, look. I'd like to try a piece of Lakumi, there it is. So it's grape juice, they string up the nuts and pour the grape juice down. And then it dries and becomes Lakumi. There you are. Very reasonably priced. More nuts, dried fruit. So we've got five euros worth of nuts coming up, covered in beautiful sugar. That's honey almond. Mm. 
Right, so there's some more of these local gift shops with nuts and dried fruit. Lokumi, we've already said some, thank you. In Ibi Lokumi. This is very sexy delight, very sexy. This is very sexy lakumi, guys. Look. Use this, use this lakumi every night like this. Oh, <laughs> <Every> very <night>. sexy. <laughs> and that is sexy wine. Look. Very sexy wine. Oh, that's what it, oh, very sexy wine. <laughs> Up the yes, gets you going, guys. And make jiggy jiggy and free babies. Oh my word! Oh no, I don't want any wine. Do you want some wine? Thank you. Very small. We'll try a piece. There it is. This is a 21-year-old Commanderia. Give the man. Three boxes, five euro. And these are just three boxes for five euros. 25 different flavors. <coughs> this is so it's great for uh, any gifts to take back. Yeah. Greek delight. And there's the carob sticks. Look. Made into the carob syrup. And some more dried nuts and suzukos. We had this before, didn't we, guys? In the other place. There it is. There it is. Just going to cut a piece. Can you see he's cutting a piece put out there to try? So that's all made from the grape juice and nuts in the middle. Right, so we're going to have a, a little drink before we move on to our walk. Our circular walk. We've done the circular walk before and videoed it. So we won't video it right round. We'll just video a few bits. Right, so we're at Trudor Square and there's a view from this little coffee bar. We'll have a quick drink at the moment before our walk. So this is the Artemis Trail. There we are. It's about a three hour walk. And we have videoed it before, guys. So at the end of the video, We'll put a link in for you so you can watch our previous video on this trail. But I will be taking a few videos for you to have a look around. Okay, so off we go. Right, so we're on the first leg and we found a conveniently located bench. There it is. And I've been collecting some moss for my garden. There it is. Okay. And there's the uh, Mount Olympus Intelligence Gathering area. You see the domes or the big balls. You see them? Don't stand on the rocks. Let me see if I can get a better view. There they are. Can you see them? There. Great big balls right on top of Mount Olympus. And they are apparently British owned, gathering all sorts of information from around this area, the Middle East. And we've just come across this old camp there you are you see and the british army built this and there's the toilets for it 
and the shower is that a toilet with a hole no it's a toilet with a hole there we are there's two of them and there's the camp here They're not being used anymore right so let's carry on round valley number two so we can see the swallows or swifts we're not sure there they are and we're just coming to the end of valley two guys and this is one of the most beautiful parts of this walk round here we'll show you more of it in a bit here we are there we are now we'll see the birds there they are up there hundreds of them there's a beautiful breeze up here guys there you can hear it now so we're deep in valley number three guys here it is there and we're virtually on the bottom of valley number three at the turning point or at the fingertip and there's always seems to be a dry stream look coming down on the fingertips or the edge of the valleys now round the mountain top up there probably more swifts birds up there Some beautiful wild flowers growing The conifers up here are amazing. So we're at the turning point. Look at these swifts. Can you hear them? Some of them are zooming past us. They're only about two meters away. Here we are, there'll be a shade here. The birds are amazing. You won't see it guys, but there's a reservoir right down there. Look, that possibly could be where the sunken church was. Well, we're not sure. Look at the birds. Yep, it's definitely the Hitchcock movie. We're in valley number five, and this is the Enchanted Forest. There we are. Right, we're at the ski lift. There it is. Up there. And the path takes us round the back of the ski lift and scoots past the road which is at the top. So this is the only hard bit of the trail guys, it's an upward climb up towards the end. Apart from that it's all flat. So this is a giant black pine isn't it? And it's approximately 500 years old. There we are. It's nearly as old as me. Look at that. Look at the inside. Yeah. So we're on the last leg in the enchanted forest. 
and we're just discussing our footwear you have to wear appropriate footwear guys and one of our crew has got appropriate footwear but unfortunately I haven't there neither have I and no has Polly not supportive enough not supportive enough and no has Tim here we are need boots on proper walking trainers next so time. proper walking trainers guys Right, we've just come out the hotel, guys, and it looks like the local restaurant's going to cook Gleftigol. There we are. It's got the uh, traditional oven going. They make that really hot. And then they get this cap here. See? Throw the meat and the potatoes in there and leave it for a few hours. Right, so we're out for the evening, guys, and we've decided to come to Lewis's restaurant. There it is. He does all sorts of traditional Cypriot food. We came here before. So we'll see what the food's like today. So here we are at Lewis's restaurant with a beautiful view. There we are. I'm going to wait for the sunset. What we've got, we've got traditional separate bread, salada, salada, baguri, and baguri. Very good, Polly. There we are. Salad. Some lemons for your armpits later. And lemon for your armpits later. Why did lemon for your they did this thing on Cypriots. <laughs> a thousand and one users for lemons. Oh, okay. <laughs> so there's the sunset, guys. Just up there, you just about to see it on the top. That's the Haunted Hotel. And dinner's turned up, and we've got Moussaka, a great big dinosaur chop with chips, the chips look delish, they're local chips and me and Polly are waiting for ours right guys I've got my usual halloumi in pita bread and lunza and the beautiful chips, the chips are of course cypress potato chips mm -mm. so we're looking out for the three wise men and we can see the star of Bethlehem just there. See? Anyone see the uh, three wise men, a few camels? There we are. Let me just stand up. There you go. So it's Sunday morning at the hotel, guys. And we've got another fantastic breakfast. We've got Lunza, the usual, boiled eggs, homemade jam, traditional Greek bread, halloumi, cheese, and salami. Right, so we're checking out our lovely hotel. There we are, checking out our lovely hotel. Hello. And we've got, where's the jam? Where's our, oh, we've got a complimentary jam, guys, look. There we are, homemade complimentary jam from our guests. Thank you for your jam. Yes, I haven't got my, it's over there. Yes. Right, we're at the bar area, look, and it quaint, really lovely. There we are. And lovely fire here. A very homely hotel. Right, so I hope you enjoyed that trip up to True Dos guys. And if you can remember on one of our videos, we ended up in the middle of nowhere having dinner. And this is the place we've run across it again. 
so we're just going to have a quick drink don't forget to like and subscribe and if there's somewhere you'd like me to go put it in the comments below